Hey, dude. Hey, how's it going, man? Happy Friday. Thanks. Uh, things are good. How are you? Uh, things are good. Had a good week. Got getting stuff done. Sweet. Co- coaching clients and working on our business. It's it's always a good week when you can knock stuff off the checklist That's and you get to the end of the week clients. and be like, good, 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 yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, our clients, our coaching clients are phenomenal and uh, we enjoy, I, I mean, there's very rarely do I come across one where I'm like, well, that was rough. And even if it's yeah. rough, it's rough in a good way. It's like, yeah, you know, you're like, you're, you're falling forward in, in any sort of scenario. And that's what I love. There's great, great mindset. all around. I'm proud of our clients, man. I mean, there's They're so amazing. many people who are like crushing it, 100%. figuring out their challenges and overcoming. And I think that's great. like the theme of our like coaching is like overcoming obstacles. This is like, you know, solving problems. It's just fun to watch. It's it cool. is. Anyway. It's real life business. Yeah. Uh, businesses don't work in this perfect sort of life. Oh, it just goes forever and scale. No, it's like this crazy mixed up. You're always sort of figuring out your systems and yeah. improving. So I love it's, it. It's amazing. It's yeah. fantastic. Speaking of improvement. Yeah. That's going to be sort of the uh, topic for today's uh, tip of the week. Sure. We are sort of launching a, a new sort of component to tip of the week, at least for this week. And that is uh, a book recommendation and having a book sort of conversation of what we're learning, implementing in our own business. Yeah. And so we're kicking it off um, this week. And yeah. the book that we're going to chat about is The Goal is the name of the book. And so it's right, right there. Uh, yeah. Mr. Goldratt is the, yep. is the author. And yeah, let's, so I'm going to kick it over to you and let you yeah. sort of run with it and we'll have a conversation about it. Yeah, I love this idea. Tip of the week, uh, book recommendation. So we'll do, we'll do this, what? Well, like we're going to do once a month or something like that. Yeah. I love this. Um, yeah, no, I, you know, we refer to this book all the time with our coaching, um, you know, clients. And so um, if, you, if you're not familiar with it, it's a business classic according to the front cover. Um, and uh, it's uh, millions and millions sold. And uh, I, the reason I think it's powerful is because the subtitle is a process for ongoing improvement. Mm-hmm. And um, so, and it's a, actually a, like a novel that has like lessons embedded in it. And so that's really not my ideal like book style. I just like nonfiction, like tell me what to do type books. Mm-hmm. But this one, um, I, I read it a long time ago. I love it. I recommend it. I, I would encourage everybody to get it on audible or get yourself a Kindle version or a paperback version, you will find tremendous value in it. And let me mention a few of the reasons why I think it's so valuable. Um, Everybody we work with, whether you come into our, uh, you know, Udemy course or a thousand Udemy, um, you know, students. Um, And uh, so if you come in that way or whether you are a coaching client, it doesn't matter. Everybody comes into us trying to understand three, these three things. And they don't even know they're trying to solve these three things, but they are. And this book mm-hmm. totally has this whole question on lockdown and, and really provides answers. And the, so the question that everyone's trying to solve is, what do I change? And because we're all at some level having some outcome, maybe we're making a mm-hmm. hundred bucks a, a week on, on Amazon or Etsy or eBay or wherever. Right. Maybe we're making a thousand bucks a week. Maybe we're making a thousand bucks a day. Maybe we're making 10,000 bucks a day. We have clients and, and you know, coaching students at all different levels um, and, you know, um, uh, students in our courses. But the, the question they're all trying to strive to ask is what do I change? And that's what they're looking for is, yeah. Hey, Kyle, do you know what I should change? Like Jason, do you know what I should change? What should I change? And then the follow on questions he, he outlines yeah. in this book is what do I change to Mm-hmm. Like, what's the new model? What's the new, what am I, if I have a model that I'm implementing, what's broken that I should change and, and, and change to? And then the third piece that he unlocks is how do you make that change? Yeah. And it's just, this, this book is just like a framework for business that is unescapable. You might not even know you're operating with that framework, but he documents it. Yeah. And he talks about how to work through the improvement process. And I, so to me, it's just genius. The book is, um, so helpful in that regard. I always go back to that metaphor when we're struggling with a problem, cinnamon and I'll be brainstorming, you know, just back and forth. And I'll always just, it comes in my mind. What are we trying, what do we need to change? What do we need to change to? 
and how do we make that change? And so that's sort of the, the, the gist of what I've always taken from that book and mm-hmm. always why, why I appreciate it so much and why I recommend it. Um, I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Does that resonate with you? For sure. For sure. I think also that what's interesting about the book is the style in which it's written. Yeah. Like you, you mentioned too, like, it, it, you know, it, it's easy to kind of go this nonfiction route, like blah, blah, blah. And it's oftentimes good nonfiction books have, elements of storytelling woven in as examples, but it's usually sort of framework oriented how to, and this one's not necessarily right. I mean, it's more of the opposite of that, you know, where it's more narrative driven. So that was the opportunity to let the story sink into one's memory, right? Because we are all storytelling and story oriented uh, humans. So that allows the concepts to become uh, I think more deeply embedded and yeah. probably one of the ways and the reasons why you remember that so vividly is because it was woven uh, yeah, in story form potentially. So yeah. that was one way that I thought was really, really compelling to, to think about it in that way. Um, yeah. I also like it that it's sort of based in, in, you know, sort of a real context, even though it's, it's narrative and storytelling and stuff like that. Yeah. It's, it's like, this could actually, it has happened many, 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 many times mm-hmm. uh, at some capacity, some level. Yeah. I also like from a, uh, from a practicality standpoint, but also the storytelling angle was that there was a time frame attached to it, right? Like right. you have like um, 90 days or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it was that. a crisis situation, like a exactly. turnaround problem. Exactly, mm-hmm. which I think is beneficial and also a reality check for us too, because yeah. if you were dealing with any sort of transformational process, you have to be thinking about it in terms of what's the time frame yeah. for this to take place in. Yep. So absolutely right. Yeah, no. And, and so it's a, it's a phenomenal book. So if you haven't ever checked it out, go get a copy. It's worth the read and, and learn that lesson of that framework. And I think it'll serve you really, really well, regardless of whether you're a multi-millionaire, billionaire yeah. online sell, seller, or whether you've, you know, just starting out and you haven't even made a hundred bucks yet still it still applies and that's kind of the cool part to me so yeah, um so that's our tip uh related to the book uh this month and um hopefully that um encourages you to go dig into something new and learn some for sure something exciting um cool man all right so we should mention inner circle of course mm-hmm. uh if you're watching this and you like this kind of content you want to go deeper with our trainings inner circle members actually get every course that we've ever done. And uh, so it's over 10. I don't even remember how many we have that are fully baked courses. Many times it's on the topic of traffic strategies, sales channels, blogging, uh, Shopify course. Uh, So we have tons of training that Inner Circle members get. And then um, we also have coaching, one-on-one coaching. Um, And so if that is of interest to you, we're happy to have you apply. It's an application only process. And so you apply on winning on Shopify.com. And then uh, we have a conversation, 30 minute uh, chat with you, learn about your business, you learn about the coaching process. And um, if it's a good fit on both sides then we move forward together. So we'd love to have you check that out. Um, anything else on that I'm forgetting? That sound about nailed right? It. Yeah, yeah, you nailed it. So go pick up your copy or rent it at the library or get it the goal, um, check it out. Yep. Apply the, the lessons yep. from it. It's a classic. It's like, over 30 years old now at this point, I think so. Yeah. And uh, the author's name again is, I think, Eliyahu Goldrate, G-O-L-D-R-A-T-T. I think you pronounce it Eliyahu, um, uh, Israeli professor guy. So anyway, yeah, check Very it cool. out. We'll go from there. All right, my man. Good times, good times. Take care. Have, have a great weekend. See ya. Bye.